What's up, or two birds, Rick the Hunter? Just want to thank you guys for watching game one and game two. I'm bringing you game three uh, right now. If you like what you see, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. I'm really tired. I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning making game one and game two. And I lost half of game two, so I was kind of pissed, but here we go, game three. San Francisco Giants and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me are Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots to talk about here as we get ready for game three. And guys, you know I don't like the phrase must win if it's not a must win situation. It's so overused. But even though this isn't technically a must win game, boy, you go down 3-0 to this bunch, well, you're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So they need to come up with a huge effort here. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Angel Pagan will dig in now, and he's picked the wrong time of year for his bat to go silent. Yeah, just one hit in the series so far for him, and they're going to have to get more out of his bat. He's got to make sure he doesn't press up there, but that average is going to continue to go south. Changed up on him here, but this is a foul ball. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and he lets the ball play him that time, and it kicks by him into left. And this is what you want when you're facing a young starter. Get him in the stretch right away. Make him uncomfortable out there. He's in trouble already after a leadoff single. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. Buster Posey will take his first cuts here with the runner still at first and one away now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Now a swing and a ground ball. Ramirez. Back to first, and a great stretch there may be the difference. It's a double play, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets a... D. Gordon will get a shot here, and he's looking to get off the Schneid, hitless in the series so far. And he's an important guy to get going. If they're going to have any chance in this series, you really need to start getting a little more involved. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. That's a two-seam fastball right there. It looks to the hitter like it's going to be inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. So the base is empty here with one away, and stepping in now is the left fielder, Andre Ethier. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Catch made out there by Pagan, and there are two gone now. Adrian Gonzalez 
will get his shot now. Great power numbers during the regular season. Still searching for that first home run in the postseason, however. And these guys really need him to start producing because it seems like pitchers have the upper hand in the postseason. You're always facing the other team's best. And they've pretty well... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the... Michael Morse will get the inning started for San Francisco. For He'll San be followed Francisco. by the Panda, Pablo uh, Sandoval on deck. And this pitch just about saws him off. Damn it. Here we go again. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now a swing, and he takes the change up the other way out toward right center. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. Pablo Sandoval to take his cuts now, and he is one guy whose bat has not made the transition from regular season to postseason. Yeah, and he was so good during the regular year, but he's been a non-factor so far in this postseason. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Taken there by Ribe. Throw on to first is in time to get Sandoval, and there are two gone now. Hunter Pence will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. And a good swing there by Pence, but he got the bat through a bit too quickly as this will find the seats foul. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Oh, a reaching try as he knocks it down, but he knows he's got no chance at first, so we'll see how they score that, and most likely an infield single. Brandon Belt will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. And oh, you talk about getting a pitcher. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's it was sailing left. You know he's got to be turning around to say something like, "Hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help." And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. We'll go to the bottom yeah, uh, no still haven't taken that hitting clinic, <laughs> as you can see. Yasiel Puig will dig in here, and it's been a series to forget for him so far, as you see the numbers there. And with these guys just one game away from going home, he may not have too many more opportunities to turn things around. He's got to make every at-bat count from here on out. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. The 0-2 coming now from Lincecum. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And here now a tough out in the person of the shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Bottom of the second here with no score. The 2-2 from Lincecum. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that will be the first base hit of the ball game for the Dodgers. Matt Kemp will get a chance here, and you see the numbers for the series. He just has not gotten going yet. Now, and if they're going to get back in this series, 
Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Damn it. If you blink, that'll happen. A lot of times, it's a manufactured run that gets your guys on the board first, and they'll have an opportunity to do so now as he's in scoring position on the stolen base. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Very patient here in these opening few innings. And I think that's exactly what they're going to need to do. The more hitters counts that you can get yourself in, the more fastballs you're going to see. And this is a good fastball hitting team. Let it rip that time 3-0, but the fastball's by him. 3-1. And, and it's full now, 3-2. That's a really good 12-6 curveball there. Woo! That's some heat right there. Coming out of Tibby. Pitch. Yeah, and you know what? He might not have a blazing fastball, but one that he had a few years He's known more of a finesse pitcher. And he went right at him on that one. And that was a perfect pitch right there. Close to the bag. It's second there. Now the pitch. A.J. Ellis is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a behind the runner to second. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> yeah. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Pence is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job. Brandon Crawford. Ready to go here as we begin the third. And here's the first pitch. Now a ball lined to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Tim Lincecum will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Infield expecting bunt. Here's the first pitch. On oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. You know, if you'd given me a nickel here, I'd have thought he was bunting that time. Yeah, that one caught me by surprise, too. I don't know why you'd want him swinging the bat. Foul back. Because I don't know how to bunt. Ball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Or I should say, I don't know how to bunt properly. For strike one and come back with two heaters to sit him down. Angel Pagan will dig in here. He's single to open up the ball game. And he takes ball one. In the air, down the left field line and deep. And that'll get over the wall. So forget about sending the runner. It'll be second and third now with only one away. Round rule double. Joaquin Arias will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. First pitch coming. Swing and he pops him up. Damn it. Oh, good shit. <laughs> Why was the ball, the bat boy trying to catch that ball? Third inning, no score to this point. And he comes with the curveball, but this is grounded foul. Way outside. One and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Here comes the one-two. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one-nothing ball game. Just a simple ground ball right here, but that's going to do the trick. And that puts our first run on the board here on the RBI ground out. 
Buster Posey will look to try and get that second run of the inning across as he'll have a runner at third now with two away. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Oh, it's so important to be able to strike first in a postseason game. Get that first run in, especially when you're the team playing on the road. I don't know. This guy has been in a slump all season, uh, all, all playoff. Just, this guy is just terrible right now. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. It's so frustrating that my star athlete is just sucking so bad. I can't even speak. Just a touch outside, one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. In the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate, and that'll keep the runner at third. for one but can't find it as he's down on strike yeah I got too happy on that one damn it can't always swing at those one and the Dodgers nothing <sighs> one Aribe makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three First pitch down from Lincecum. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high. And now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Lincecum readies another 0-2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Hyunjin Ryu will stand in for the first time here. Off the plate and low here. Ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Up top, it's 2-0. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage, but you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3-0 and to him. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and it's back to 2-2. Two and two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. D. Gordon. Will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. And a sharp slider that time by Lincecum. It's strike one. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And Gordon will beat this one out. It's a bunt single. Nobody knew who wanted to get the ball. Flat out fly. I mean, like, I don't know. Keystone cops and shit. It's a base hit. It's almost too easy. Andre Ethier will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Base hit now. Line fouled off to the left and a few goes back. Lincecum ready. The 0-1. Right there and it's quickly 0-2 now. Oh man, he must have been looking for something else. That was a curveball that had hit me written all over it and he couldn't pull the trigger. And that's through. A base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second, so there are two on now with two away. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. And this will be fouled away. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Here's another one, two. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes. 
Michael Morse will get the inning started for San Francisco. He'll be followed by the Panda, Pablo Sandoval on deck. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And the recovery's a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. Settling under it is Kemp as he tucks this one away for out number two. Hunter Pence will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Swing and a rocket to third. But pulled in at the hot corner and that. Yasiel Puig will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. And on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's 1-2. and two. On 0-2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. To two balls and two strikes now. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. The shortstop. Hanley Ramirez will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Now the pitch. And this is high for a ball. So from 0 and 2, he's worked it back to 2 and 2 now. And when he's down 0 and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2 and 2, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Matt Kemp will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And there's one that misses to Kemp as he works it back to two and two. Fouled straight back. Now the bouncing ball past Lincecum and on into center. It's a base hit. A.J. Ellis will try it again. He flew out his first time. And Lincecum able to jump ahead with the fastball here. No balls in the strike. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. One one pitch is a slider. Yeah, I'm concentrating on this uh, on this batter. I have to be more focused at the entire field. And this is going to be a foul ball. But boy, I sure can freaking pitch. That's what I can do.
Brandon Belt. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. There's his total now just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Well, the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Swing and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop up at that. This is way up there. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Well, usually when you get guys to pop up, it means that you've got them off balance. And he's been able to mix things up all night long. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Hit well, but fouled that time by Crawford, as this will find the seats down the line in right. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Hits are now even at four apiece. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. This is fouled away. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Tim Lincecum will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. And this is in the dirt as it swung on and missed, but this should be a pretty straightforward play to first. And he's safe at first, so a costly mistake on the drop third strike as now the inning will continue. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Angel Pagan will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Fouled back. A runner on first with two away. hit ball back up the middle a dive but he can't get a glove on it it's through for a base hit and they'll stop the runner at second base but there are two on and two out now Joaquin Arias we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five and this is low but it's corralled quickly and both runners will have to hang on And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. And this is fouled back and out of play. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little help. Damn it. Damn it. Will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. Damn it. Leave a couple. They're on top one to nothing. <sighs> one rebound will stand in to lead things off here. And his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. 
swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. One away. Hyunjin Ryu will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at short. On to first and very quickly two are gone in the home fifth. D. Gordon will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. He had a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So. Buster Posey will stride into the box as he'll get things started for the Giants in their half of the sixth. A fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Up for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Wow. I don't know. I keep saying the same shit because it's, I keep doing the same stupid shit. I don't know. straight back now another 0 2 and this is hit hard on the ground towards short the throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth Michael Morse will try it again 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And if he's had any postseason jitters, he hasn't shown them to me. Now, he's been outstanding so far. Here comes Ryu 0 and 2. And a swing. Oh, shit, dude. And there are two away. That bats where he just couldn't help himself out there. And we're gonna check it out again right here on show track. Uh, right away. Well, I freaking this? suck. Any of them even strike? Damn it. If you have a little bit more discipline as a hitter, you might be looking at a three and oh count instead of going back to sit on the bench. Pablo Sandoval will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Too high, one and oh. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Now a ground ball hits sharply back up the box, and it'll get into center field, a two-out single. Hunter Pence will step in, one for two in the ball game. Hunter Pence. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. And no offer that time from Pence as it evens the count at one and one. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. And the throw is in. Andre Ethier will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. First pitch on the way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. 1-0 oh. pitch is a slider, swung on and missed, 1-1. One and one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2 two -two from Lincecum. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and He's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Adrian Gonzalez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. 
you don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. And they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Yasiel Puig will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. We've talked about all the strikeouts. The only side effect is right there, though. He's run up a pretty high pitch count now. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Brandon Belt will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. Brandon Crawford will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. One run, six hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Tim Lincecum will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Out in front as he yanks this down the line at first. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. And this is a spot where, to me, you don't need to play home run derby here. I mean, if your last name is Pujols or Fielder, maybe. But for a guy like this, you just try to get on base and give your guys a chance to drive you in. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two out with the man at first. Here comes a 1-2. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Giants... Hanley Ramirez will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. I started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop-up at that. This is way up there. There to take it is Belt for the first out. Matt Kemp will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. Good fastball there from Lincecum as he's really popping the glove now. It's strike one. 
Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh Come inning, on. and we're still hearing the catcher's mitt snapping all the way up here. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to show him a changeup, give him a different look. And a breaking ball lined into left field, a base hit. A.J. Ellis will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Just a touch outside, one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Uh, he continues to pitch well out there. Here's his pitch breakdown so far. Number five, Juan Uribe. Juan Uribe will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. On the ground towards second. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Dodgers leave one. They trail this one one to nothing. Chris Perez will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Brendan Harris is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And this is fouled straight back. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Ah, he can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. Buster Posey uh -oh. stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number uh -oh. hitless in his three at bats so far. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at bat. No, and he's definitely getting the best of this. Damn it, dude. Damn it. You can tell by these first couple swings, he's not just looking to poke one through the right side of the infield. He's looking to put something into orbit. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. This is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. And this is going to be a foul ball. Again, a one-two. And they take him out of the zone. <laughs> Nothing the score as we take a look at our starter comparison, and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Michael Morse will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss on the okay, now I'm just being silly. Now, he's probably lucky. now I'm just being freaking silly. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. And 
and this is going to be a foul ball. On a big oh, get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, quick, 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 quick. oh, what are you doing? Go, 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 go. What are you guys doing? Go, go, go. Damn it. Damn it. Keystone Cops, man. Running the damn bases. This is not a home run hitting part, but it will give up its share of doubles. And this one moves runners to second and third now as they're looking to cash in. And a new pitcher is set to come on now as they turn things over to the finesse left-hander J.P. Howell. Pablo Sandoval. I just need a pop-up, man. Let me just get a pop-up. Let me just get a pop-up. Ugh, oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's what's up. I'm gonna plug in my controller. To make this a two run game now. And that could turn out to be a very big insurance run right there. That makes this a two run game now. And the way their starter's pitching, he may not wind up even needing it, but at least it gives him a little bit of a cushion out there. Hunter Pence will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Infield a double play depth all around. Here's the pitch. Yeah, sorry about that. I think my uh, try to play with my controller, man. What's going on? All right. And no offer that time from Pence as it evens the count at one and one. Anxious moments all over the ballpark now. These folks can hardly bear to watch. Now a ball hit back up the middle to Gordon for one. Over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. Giants will have to be content with just the one. Did the first base runner look like he stopped? And just tapped the first base like... I don't know. That looked weird. Brendan Harris will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box. A foul ball. The 0-2 coming now from Lincecum. And he pops him up here on 0-2 as this is drifting. <laughs> what? What? What, dude? That is crazy. Look at this shit. Look at this right here. Boop. D. Gordon will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. In the dirt. Yeah, we appear to be having some technical difficulties. And best believe I'm keeping my eye on the guy on first.
And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Ready now on one and one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Andre Ethier will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. No! No! What the fuck? What the fuck? Damn it. Damn it, this game's never gonna end. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. And I really wanted this game to be over. But no. It just got undone on one Damn it. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far. They've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. And these guys already have one home run here in the inning. And now you get to the real power guys here. So you need to be careful. And it looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box, it's a foul ball. And there's a pitch Gonzalez takes, and we're back even at two and two. Yeah, and he's got to be careful not to give up yet another home run here in this inning. So you can see they're approaching with caution. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Such a good at bat right here. When you can grind out seven, eight pitches against a guy that's running short on gas, that can be huge. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw right there, and that takes care of Gonzalez. Two gone now. Yasiel Puig will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Still taking here as he looks at the slider this time, and he's in a big hole now, down 0-2. And, and he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's 1-2. and two. A curveball here, but he was waiting for it and sends it in the air to deep left field. Morse is going to have room out there as he puts this away. <laughs> what was that about? Damn it. Don't show me that shit again. Damn it, dude. Damn it. Brandon Belt will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Brandon Belt. Now a swing and a chance for the gold glover Gonzalez over at first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Brandon Crawford will dig in. He singled his last time around. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And that misses one and one. On a hole now. Dude, I'm not golfing. Why do I think I'm golfing? If you can start a knee high and 
let him dip out of the strike zone, you'll have a lot of success with locations like that one. Really? To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, going right back to the sinker right there. Why not? See if he's going to chase it again. Here he comes on two and two. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Fouled back. That's line to right and into right field in front of Pui gets a base hit. Gregor Blanco will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Here's the first pitch. That's lined to right and into right field in front of Pui gets a base hit. think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Angel Pagan will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. Well, this is speared by the first baseman. And if this ball's hit maybe just a little bit harder, he might have a shot at doubling a man off. But since it's hit so softly, he's only going to wind up getting one out. Joaquin Aria will step in. Singleton came around to score his last time. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. Damn it, dude. I might. What? Where the fuck that guy come from? Where did that catcher come from? Where did that catcher come from? Go ahead, run, and the inning is over. Where did that catcher come from? San Francisco. And it's gonna be left to fucking posy when we come back. If they don't score right now. Damn it, dude. No shit. Damn it, dude. That's some bullshit, dude. Dude, that guy appeared out of nowhere. Hanley Ramirez is set to go now as we lead off the bottom of the ninth. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. Swung on and rolled towards first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Matt Kemp will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. On the ground to third. Throw on to first takes care of Kemp as he's turned away for the second out. Two quick outs here to start the inning. It's looking more and more likely that we're going to need extra innings here to decide this one. A.J. Ellis is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. If there's one guy on this roster that wants the ball in a moment like this, this is the guy. And he lays off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. and Figure he's taken now on the three-ball count. Maybe even taken two. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. 
not a bad idea. Matt Joyce. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Fouled back. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Now the 0-2 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And a fastball called strike three. And the side is retired. That's what's up. Come on, Posey. One left for LA. Come on, Posey. Uh, come on now as he'll take over this to guy. start the extra frame. Joaquin Arias will lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. I, I thought he lost his bat. Or his at bat. The inning it's ball one. Posey's next. And here's a ball hit in the air. And the leadoff man is retired here to start the extra frames. Buster Posey will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Swing and a liner back through the box. And this is knocked down on the mound. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they record the second out. Michael Morse will dig in. He doubled his last Come on, give me a break. High strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. That was it, and I didn't swing at it. Yeah, they needed him to come in and give him a strong inning, and he's done exactly that. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 2 now. Yeah, not his best effort right there. Luckily, he's still got another strike to turn things around. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted uh, towards damn it, dude. Field. Kemp retreats. Brendan Harris will lead it off now in the home half of inning number 10. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he lays off for ball one. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made a pan out. One and two now. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Fastball here misses low and it's back to even now at two and two. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. And there you see the leadoff man on deck. And you know they'd love to get someone on base when this lineup turns over. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. And now he'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Called strike, 0-2. And, and just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Swing and a miss as he starts the frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. Andre Ethier will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right here. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. Posey is there to make the catch and that means... Pablo Sandoval try and get something started here in the top half of inning number 11. 
Pablo Sandoval. First pitch coming from Wilson. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And in the past, he's had problems chasing that pitch. But he sees it coming in letter high, and he just can't help himself. And this ball will be chopped foul. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Wow. You know, neither team really seems to want to take command of this ball game. I mean, this is right for the picking. Yet guys are just not coming up with good at bats right now. And this is going to be a foul ball. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. All coming on hard as he makes the diving catch. Brandon Belt will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. And I'll tell you, this is a great matchup. A couple of alpha dogs out there. That probably won't be the last fastball we're going to see. And this is going to be a foul ball. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready with another 0-2. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. And, and he strikes him out here for out number three, so after a scoreless top half. Adrian Gonzalez will get us going now in the home half of the 11th. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, 1-0. One and that misses 2 and 0. Oh. And this is going to be a foul ball. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to first by Arias will be in time for out number 1. Yasiel Puig will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Arias backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Hanley Ramirez will step in. A ground out victim as last time. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball. 1-0. 1-0 pitch is right there but ruled a ball. 2-0. Two, two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him. But he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the... Brandon Crawford will stand in to start out the 12th inning of play. And it starts to become a war of attrition once you've reached this point in the ballgame. Yeah, we're getting to the point where there's some really tired legs out there on both sides. The bullpens have been working overtime. Heck, even the announcers are starting to get a little bit hoarse. And 0-2 now as Crawford comes up empty on that one. And it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here to mix in a take every now and again. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time. Today. Dude, I'm so hungry. I just want this game to be over, man. Somebody win already. Damn it. Marco Scudero will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the Marco inning. Scudero. First pitch coming. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Go, 
Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And, of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. And this is going to be a foul ball. Swing and miss as he starts to frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. I don't know, man. Um, Two quick outs here to start things off. I don't know. Ask for much more than this in extra innings. Hold, serve, and then give your guys a shot to win in the bottom half. Angel Pagan will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Gene Machi will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and he'll need to get three outs here to push this game on to the 13th. Matt Kemp is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And they may have found a location that they like right here. Two different pitches, both taken on the inside corner. And now they can go just about anywhere they want. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. And Belt will just take this one over himself for the out. Scott Van Slyke will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Now the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Yeah, hard to believe that's not a strike. I don't know exactly where that would have missed. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Morse is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Dodgers down in... Paco Rodriguez will come on now as he'll take over on the mound to begin the lucky 13th inning. Joaquin Arias will lead things off here in the top half of the inning. And a swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. Oh, and you cannot get caught making up your mind to swing before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, I wasn't even close. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Buster Posey will try and break the collar. He's 0 for 5 in the ballgame. Good off-speed pitch. Had him out. One. Damn it! Why he's staring a hat trick right in the face. He just hasn't been able to recognize these pitches that are well out of the zone. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. You worry a little about things snowballing from here? Well, you know, these are two teams that don't traditionally care for each other too much, so we've seen this go south before. 1-1 one, one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's 1-2. and two. Fouled straight back. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two and two now. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And he will get there at first, so he reaches. On yes. The drop third so good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Michael Morse will stand in. Just one for five in this one.
Here's the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. That's line to right and into right field in front of Puy gets a base hit. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And standing in now, the versatile Pablo Sandoval. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. I'm looking for that curveball. Damn it. Damn it. Get out of there. Damn it. Puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Hunter Pence will stand in. He flew out his last time up. It's just blistered into right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Throw comes quickly to the end. I should have so went for it, but it was hit too hard. Damn it, I could have went for it. Head out in front. This is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. Brandon Belt will dig in now, needing to come through here with the bases loaded and two men out. Here's the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm starving. Curveball. Lower left. Ugh, damn it, come on. Foul back. No! went around and it's one and two now. Come on. I'm so hungry. Ah, fucking bitch! Damn it! Harris will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. Here's his splitter that's taken for a ball 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And this will be fouled away. This ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. And that misses here, ball four. And of all things, it's a leadoff walk that puts the winning run on base to start the bottom half. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw by Sandoval is in time, one away. Andre Ethier will dig in now. He homered back in the eighth inning of this one. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball one. Not close. It's 2-0. and oh. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. And this is in the air now out to left. Morse is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. And he's up to third. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in now. Hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. Oh, one is a splitter that misses for the first ball. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. 
And they'll come inside with this one, but the result's the same. It's the two and one now. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and that means 13 innings won't even settle this one as that ends the inning. Brandon Crawford will stand in now to start the 14. And I don't know about you guys, but it's getting past my bedtime. Yeah, I'm with you. How about a few runs? Yes. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. Ah, uh, he's playing right into that big swing from a pitch before. Just throw something slow here, and you'll probably have him three feet out in front. And he swings under the curveball here as this is popped up. Back behind second. Gordon backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Hector Sanchez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Now a fastball and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Angel Pagan will stand in again. Three for six in the ballgame thus far. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Two out, nobody on. Fouled straight back. Now a ball hit hard towards center. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So they're held in. Javier Lopez is going to make an appearance now as he'll take over here in the 14th inning. Yasiel Puig will lead things off here as they look to try and win this thing in the bottom half. And that misses for ball one. Now a swing and a fly ball, medium deep, out toward Pagan in center field. And he's got it for out number one. Now this deep in extra innings, they're just going to say, hey, this is your game now, pal. We need you to go as long as you can. And at least he started this inning off on the right foot. Hanley Ramirez is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike, too. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Matt Kemp will look for his third hit of the ball game now, and that misses inside 1-0. Fastball at 88 that time. A ball and a strike. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. And there's one that misses to Kemp as he works it back to two and two. Changed up on him there, but it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Morse is there to make the catch, and that means we... One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Now here's the first pitch. Swing, and he pops him up over near second. Ramirez is there. One pitch, one out. Buster Posey will try and finally break through. 0 for 6 thus far. Damn it. Damn it, dude. I don't even get happy when that guy walks up to, to bat, dude. It's 
So frustrating. Two pitches, two outs here so far. Offensively, that's not the kind of inning you want in a tie ball game. You need to make him work at least a little bit out there. Michael Morse is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And he strikes him out here for round number three, so after a scoreless time. A.J. Ellis will lead things off here as they look to try and win this thing in the bottom half. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. Tim Fedorovich will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And this is fouled at the plate. Ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. And he will make it into second base as the winning run is in scoring position now with only one away. Brendan Harris will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. But this will get foul for strike two. Too high. One and two. And I think we've long since lost our East Coast audience by now as we come. And this is down. And that should do it. Damn it, dude. I just uh, couldn't do it. So the moral of this story is, apparently, don't play baseball on an empty stomach. Thank you for watching Robotics Elite. I'll be bringing you game four pretty soon. Uh, stay tuned. Tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. But this was this was one they definitely needed, and he came up with a huge performance here.